In the last episode, we have connected the database with our Laravel application by typing the details on .env file. But now we need to verify and to verify, we need the tables here. So do we have to create the table directly here? No, because we have Laravel and Laravel will take care of everything. So in Laravel, we have a migration system. So if I go to this folder called database folder, we have three folder, but let's talk about the migrations folder. This folder out of the box contain two migration file. And these file are just having name prefixes with a timestamp. So you can see it says create user table, create password reset table. So these two tables are created by Laravel or migrations of these are created. But what exactly migration means? So migrations are, think about migrations like your blueprint of your table or here it says schema of table. A schema is like what are the fields you want to have in your table? What are the type of these fields? How these are connected? Do they have nullable field? Do they are unique? and some of the other things you can define related to your database table. This is going to provide a very unique system because before actually creating the table, you are creating the structure of table. This is going to help us in the thinking process of how the structure of the table has to be. And this is also going to help us in creating the database or creating the tables actually. So once you have these migrations, like we have for password reset, once you have these migrations, we can simply run a command to have table of this migrations or this blueprint. To run that command, we just need to say php artisan migrate. This will going to create the tables from these structure or schema. But let's first get the help for this command. So php addison migrate hyphen h will give you help for that particular command or for any command you can just type h at the last hyphen h at the last it will give you help for that. So this command php addison migrate command will run the mi database migration. This means it will create the tables on your database according to the schema. You can also define the database name if you want you can force and you can do all other things which we will see maybe later but for now to checking that how it's going to create the tables let's just run this command so if i hit enter here you can see we have some message it says migration table created successfully then it says migrating and then migrated obviously all of these are very fast so migrating and migrated so two tables are created actually but where obviously on our database to check that do we have these tables we need to go to the sql pro or if you are on windows you can go to the php my admin hit on refresh and yes we have these two tables but wait we have three tables one tables is migrations we don't have three migrations but you know Laravel will track of every migration because if I again run this PHP Addison migrate, it says nothing to migrate. How Laravel know that these tables are actually migrated or actually created? So yes, this third table will track of everything. So if I go on the content, you can see it says migrations. This migration is run. This migration is run. So this means it will keep track of all the migrations just by having a new table and entries on the new table what are the migration has already been run so yes we have a user table and you can see the structure id name email email verified password reset a remember token created at updated at so all these things are there but where is created at and updated at by using this line we have told to our Laravel that hey Laravel create the migration with created at 
and updated at so these things are going to populate these two uh, fields on every table so if i open password reset table it just have created at because if i open we don't have similar timestamp it's just saying timestamp of created at only we just want to use this but here on the user table we are not providing anything so what have happened if i say created at but we have made change in migration and if i try to run it says nothing to migrate yes because from this migration table laravel know that these migrations are done we want to delete previous one and restructure and re recreate the new table so for that we need to say php artisan migrate and we will provide colon fresh f r e s h so hit enter and we are having error because we need to remove this time stamps s from there and now run fresh command you can see it says drop all tables that means every table is deleted and again started migrating so if i now go yes everything is there but this time user table just have created at field no updated at so simply let's get back to the updated at run this fresh command once more and yes this time if i refresh yes updated at is back so in that way you can use migration and if you want to create a new migration yes you can simply use a, another command which is like make migration so here lots of make command but make migration command is there so we, we need to say php artisan make migration migration and then you need to give the migration name so it's like create uh, blog table hit enter and this time it says create block table and block table is here so this is the way you can create it so let's just remove it for now and in the next episode we will going to see how we can use these table and see that database connection is really happened so if you want to learn more advanced things and work on real project head over to bitfumes.com slash courses section where you will have all the udemy courses some of the premium courses for this website only you can unlock them everything just by subscribing to this website then you will have all the videos which are ad free hello hi free just pure learning we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye